Hi, I'm Phoebe Welburn at the Welburn Gourd Farm in Fallbrook, California, and I'm going to show you a little bit about the Proxon Super Jigsaw. So um, when you're cutting gourds, it's very different than cutting wood. If you've tried to cut a gourd, you know this. Uh, one of the reasons is the gourd can be um, very curved. So if you try to cut it with a um, regular mini saw with the foot that it usually comes with, which is usually this big flat foot, there's going to be several problems you're going to encounter. So I'm going to just show you the difference between um, the Proxon saw super jig. This is a Proxon super jig saw, and this is the one that you can buy online. You can actually buy it cheaper than you can with us. And here's why you might want to consider buying from us, because when you buy from us, you're going to get a very different foot. So you see this little foot on here. Um, I call it the gourd foot because it's custom made by us just for cutting gourds. And it's very um, small for one. So if you see the difference, you're going to be able to see where you're cutting when you use the gourd foot as opposed to this big kind of bulky shoe on the other saw. And the other big difference is um, that when you're cutting a neck, I'm going to show you right now why this saw is going to get in your way and it's going to almost make it impossible to cut a gourd if you're cutting with this particular, this flat foot. So um, before we start cutting, a couple safety things you want to keep in mind. Always cut on a non-slip surface. So I have like my little rubber mat here. This is just rubber shelf liner. And then you want to wear a dust mask or a respirator, prefer, um, preferably a respirator, and some safety glasses. Uh, I'm not going to actually put my mask on because then you won't be able to hear me speak behind the mask, but I will wear my glasses. And I have a gourd here. I've just drawn um, my line with a pencil. I just eyeballed it. And then when you're cutting a gourd, you need to have a start point. So I just use my hobby knife and carefully um, just rock the blade in there so that you pierce the gourd all the way through. Uh, that's just so you have um, a hole to put your, your blade in when you to start your cut with your little uh, mini jigsaw. So Welburn gourds are known for their thick shells. So this is, honestly, this is the hardest part. <laughs> this is the hardest part of cutting a gourd is just making your start cut. So be careful when you do this, be a little patient. And especially important if you're doing like a lidded container, this is a nice narrow cut so you can cut it with your mini jigsaw, another advantage, um, and the lid will fit back on. You won't have a big gap. So, actually I haven't plugged my saw in yet because I want to tell you a few more things. But you can see when I insert this, see how that shoe or the foot, the gourd foot, sits right up against the gourd. That's what, that's what you want it to do. If it were out here, you're just, it's going to bounce around and snap your saw blade just almost immediately. So now I'm going to show you with the regular flat foot. Insert that in there. Now. Can you see the gap? So, and as I go around to the front part of the gourd where the neck is even more curved, it's, the gap is gonna be even bigger. It would pull that, it would pull this away from the gourd. And not only can I like not see what I'm doing because this foot is in the way, it's also just pulling it too far away from the gourd and it's gonna snap my blade. So that's not gonna happen with, uh, sorry. <laughs> when you buy the Proxon Super Jigsaw from Welburn Gourd Farm because you're going to get this custom foot already installed for you. It, we do include the flat foot just in case you want to use your saw. Um, you know, you could use it for other projects. So we do give you that flat foot along with it. And it comes with the case and it comes with some saw blades. Um, and I'm going to just, and one thing I do want to mention before I plug in my saw, you definitely want to get a foot switch. So. The mini jigsaw has the on off switch back here. So when you're cutting, you have to hold your gourd to cut it. You know, you're going to see in a minute, you don't want it to bounce around. So there's, there's kind of no way I can get my hand back here and turn that off. I'm going to drop my saw. So you definitely want to get a foot switch. And so it's really easy. This is why I waited to plug my saw in so I could show you. This is the end of my saw. There's my saw right here. Here's my foot switch, and it just comes with two cords in it. This is the one that plugs into your saw, just like that. And then the other end 
you just plug into the wall. Plug into my data on-off. Now, I can control my on-off switch with a foot pedal. So, there we go. So I've turned the saw on, and now I'm gonna, I'm gonna put this on the floor, but you can see when I press it, my saw goes on. So that's a much safer way to, to be working with gourds. Like I said, because you're gonna need both your hands, on one on your gourd, one on your saw, you're not gonna have a hand to come back here and turn it on and off when you wanna stop. And you do wanna kind of stop and start a few times when you're um, sawing your gourd, just to make sure you're following your cut line. So I put my foot switch, <laughs> it's probably good that I turn my saw off and then put my foot switch down. There we go. Turn my saw on, there we go. And once you've got to this point, it's pretty easy. You wanna make sure you hold the foot right against the gourd. Make sure it's pressed against the gourd because if it's not, it's gonna bounce around and you'll break your blade, which isn't a big deal. You just you know, pull it out and put a new one in, but better not to break them. So it's really easy. I'm just following my little pencil line. Now you don't want to you don't want to be pushing your saw when you're cutting. You just want to let the blade and the saw do the work. So real gentle pressure on on the saw when you're cutting. And like I said, this little tiny gourd foot, I can see exactly where I want to cut. Keep your hand, you know, keep it away from where you're cutting, even though, you know, it's not really through the gourd or anything, it's always a good idea to just be safe. If you've worked with gourds, you know that some of them are thicker and some of them are just denser, like it's a harder shell. So this shell's a little bit harder. It's not necessarily gonna be a super thick gourd, but I can tell the shell's a little harder, so it takes a little longer to cut it. There you go. So there's the inside of the gourd. If you're wondering what's inside the gourd, it's just some dried, I'll dump it out. Seeds are in there, some dried pulp. And then I can just take um, like a rasp and file that down so it's smooth. Another important point about the saw being pulled away from the gourd when you have this flat foot and you're trying to you know, cut on a curved area, and you can see how it, it pulls it away. But the thing you don't see, and is that inside the gourd, that blade might only be going in a quarter of an inch because the foot, this big flat foot, has pulled it off the surface of the gourd, so you can't actually insert the blade all the way into the gourd. Well, that's not necessarily a problem for a really thin-shelled gourd, but Welburn gourds are known for these thick shells, so if you've got a really thick-shelled canteen, you know, it's half inch, some of them can even be an inch, that blade isn't even gonna go through the gourd to cut it. So there's just, there's just several problems when you're trying to use this big flat foot on gourds, which is why we designed the gourd foot. So that avoids those problems because the gourd foot goes all the way into the gourd and pierces all the way through, even on those really thick shells. So you're gonna get the cut to go all the way through your gourd when you use the gourd foot on your Proxon Super Jigsaw. So those are some of the points to keep in mind when you're buying a Proxon Super Jigsaw. And we hope you enjoy the little gourd foot we designed especially for gourds. So tell us how you like it. Thanks for watching.